Good evening. How's everybody doing this lovely evening? So tonight is going to be pretty simple. We are going to kick off from where we ended last night. So we finished off the act. We now basically just try to grind out some levels. Trying to get those passive skill trees so we can finish off my build. Get it to its full potential. Got a couple of things that need to be done to get it to that point, but hopefully when it's there. It'll go better than I did last night. Last night I ran some T16 maps and died a lot. Currently I'm comfortable around T8 to T10. Anything more than that and the build is fading a little. But such it is. We grow, get stronger, and we learn. So before we go live, just the usual shout out as always. Welcome to the stream. If you're enjoying your stay, I'm here chat comment jump into that chat let me know i'm here to talk don't be shy everybody's welcome i do have a youtube channel and i do have it, um, an x account go show some love subscribe follow do the usual stuff to sh show some support i really really appreciate it if you guys can help spread the word about the channel spread the word about this um the, the twitch anything from your side would be appreciated help grow the community let's get it bigger let's make this a family But on that, let's switch over to the main game. I don't know why I'm here. I'm supposed to be in my hideout. Uh, yeah, so my inventory is just built up with the yeah, 8 to 10 maps. Um... And these are mostly from Lost League. So don't be surprised if you see some of the maps in here that you aren't used to in this league. That's okay. Now let's start it off with a nice easy 8. Uh, there's no reflect on this. So we're good with that. shouldn't be struggling too much with us it should be pretty straightforward but you never know there could be some complications and I did check the map modifiers first there's no reflect damage Slot and Pegos. Don't need the bar. 
boy. Good evening, Master. How are you doing tonight, man? Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a good day. was busy. It was one of those days where there was too much day for the day, if that makes sense. Like, it just, it just didn't want to end. But I'm home now, doing what I love, so I'm happy. Will of gift. Don't know that one. I forgot last night you actually gave me um, an offering to the goddess. So I actually need to go see if I can't run the next ascendancy trial. I actually got a question for you quickly, my job. The chat, is it big enough for you to actually be able to read it or is it tiny? Maybe be a bit bigger. It's too small. Ah. Okay, let's fix that right now. Second. Okay. Is that better? What? Place it over there. Much better. Awesome. Nice to hear. See? Small improvements. Small improvements every single time. That's how we grow. That's how we get better. Uh, is there any shit that I actually want? Not really. Hail! I'm just going to sell that shit because I honestly don't want it right now. The rest of it is just currency. Small steps. That's all it takes. Constant improvement is improvement. That's a tier 4 map. Don't want that. Let's put this with the rest of the uniques. And yeah, tier 4 map can just go into storage. Okay, next one. the damage physical damage yeah it's good oh actually there's a 40 percent reduced effect oh, i almost said for a moment that there was reflect we don't want to sit with that problem we're going to try and have a more effective stream tonight than what we did last night i died 
way too much last night. And I also realized last night that my voice is quite a bit, is like a little bit too quiet. So I've put the game volume down just a little bit. I saying go back, you haven't done anything, bro. It is good to know you can run T16s. My man, you gave me the T16s. My build will eventually be good for it, but where I'm at right now, just a bit short on the damage. Okay, so it's it's just something to work towards. It just means my build's going to get stronger and stronger. And to the point where I can comfortably run a 16. That'll almost be like a nice visual gauge. Um... Almost be like a nice visual coach to be able to see how much I've improved. I mean, I was struggling with the T60 maps last night. Let's say after like another five or six levels, let's see how much easier or harder it is then. It's a tier 4 map, don't want that. Just like that, every single point is worth it. Is it martial prowess time? Yeah, I suppose I have to start making my way in towards that because one more level. Think so? Uh, let me do this quickly. I'm on stage four. That's good. I'm having a look at the ascendancy trial. This fourth point, focal point, might actually be a good thing to have. 75% increased effect on your marks and obviously 25% less damage taken from other enemies near your marked enemy. And then your mark transfers to other enemies. That could actually be pretty decent down towards yeah. Just made me think about switching over today. I'm looking forward to that. One more level. 
one more level. Now, question for this cluster over here. We're going up, right, towards that medium gel socket, or are we going around this way? I know we're skipping the tempered arrowheads for now. Go around the right. Got you. <clears throat> now let's leave that for now. Let's keep the point. I don't really need it right now. Let's just keep running some more maps. That's all we're doing at this point. I need that XP. Uh, yeah, okay. Let's run a syndicate at the same time. That is okay. It's a tier six map, don't want it. the two stone ring let's get rid of this i want that i'll take the path map don't want those i think there's a good one Ooh, if i get a ring well let's see if i got some of that streamer luck i highly doubt it but let's see if i do i'm how you want the syndicate was in dire need of a shake up <laughs> anyway Isar. you've achieved nothing Oh, that's not too bad. <laughs> Elemental resistance, global accuracy, increased movement speed, minion still 6% increased damage, and increased light radius. Hello. That's for sure. And the only thing I don't have is a plus one to minimum endurance charges. The other two I've got. Gonna get the mod. Ah. That's okay. Not a bad ring. But I don't need the ring, so I'm just gonna dump the ring for now. Blessings. And that is all I wanted from you. That would have been badass though. Attention, the damage wasn't over, and I decided to move on to other shit. That's my own fault. I can't blame anybody besides myself for that. Yeah, now that shit fucked me up. It's okay. 
Yeah, I just need to quickly pick something. Yeah, the chat was a bit too big for my liking, so I just want to make the chat a bit smaller. That way it can keep its size. But not that there's so much still left on the screen. There we go, that should be good. There we go. Was it tier 6 map? Six map, don't want it. Should alive. Don't look like it. Pick the ones with blue text monsters. Okay. Nope. Ah, shit. I... My bad. I literally read your sentence and for some reason my brain just wiped it out. I promise in the next one I'll look for blue text. There's a blue text. That's all that's left, so... Definitely, because the moment I take the first one that's actually got blue text, I actually get some shit from the drops. That's what happens when you actually pay attention to what fucking people are telling you. And not just running in like, oh, I got this. Hmm, something dropped somewhere. Currency is currency. Nice quick look here. We are done. Get the hell out of here. And let's get some more currency. Hero. Farewell. What's up? Okay, let's put you away. Nine map, currency, currency, currency. You're doing good. Actually, you know what? Let's go last let's go run the last ascendancy trial quickly. Get that out of the way.
Let's try not to die this time. Um, hold up, hold up, hold up. I think for my own sanity. Just because to prevent what happened last time. Innocence. Wait, who am I looking for? This is what I'm looking for. Uh, seven, seven. Yeah, let's grab one of those. Yeah, let's just grab one of those. I know that this is probably going to seem like a stupid choice. It is just for this run, because last time I died because I did not have enough life. They don't have enough heals, sorry. Because those traps actually do a metric fuck ton of damage because it's percentage damage. The goddess is watching. So I don't want to be caught lacking. Again. through it. <laughs> I feel like that's really mean. No, but okay. it's, it's, it's okay. I get it. Senesi trials suck. The people who like this have got something wrong with them. Like something seriously wrong with them. Bit of content. Goodbye, Argus. I couldn't I've got an achievement for a more faithful and loving companion. I seriously just run. Yep. Right in the circle and got nowhere for it. Yeah, damage output definitely ain't the issue. Don't forget a sanity job. People make spells to secure run laps. Why? Why? see anything enjoyable about this it's tedious it's irritating you fuck up once and you have to basically restart that shit oh. it's stupid and these fucking things that slow your shit down No, I, don't tell me I have to do one of those things. Just got the fucking pillar. Stupid of me. How many fucking crossings are in this place? Hold up. Wait, did I come back to the same direction that I was? Oh, 
Yes, I did. I went backwards. That's not going to help me. Like grinding your games. I love you guys, but fuck you for this thing. This is tedious, boring bullshit. No, don't tell me I don't have a choice. Clear out this area for absolutely no reason. I'm not running all the way through that again. The only possible way it could be used down this way, but I highly doubt it. Might actually be this way. Nope, it's not this way. So I cleared out an entire section that's got nothing to do with the fucking area. Just looks around to me. Something else in between. There we go. There we go. Yeah, I got the achievement. This is bullshit. So I need to go to either one of these rooms and then work my way across. I was in the right place, but what the fuck? This is the thing that I hate about it the most. But it's not saying I'm in the right place, it's saying there has to be another way to go. Which where? This is making me run all the way to the top. That small little shadow section there that I missed. If that's the case, I'm gonna be irritated as fuck. I gotta run through this shit again. I'm not up to that just yet. Ow. Yep, it really was that close. It really was that freaking close. Sucks. The weary traveler draws close to the end of the path. Hey, all resistance is ranked too. Nice. That's actually a good one to have. An emperor is only as efficient as those he commands. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Four. Prove yourself Ooh, as an inexhaustible. Thank you. Only one of your lessons was completed, Ascendant. See, the damage ain't the problem. It's the freaking layout of this place that I hate. Yes, there's two ways to go. Either way is correct. It. 
nothing important. Are you still running some harvests for the city? It when that happens. Oh. That's a big ass circle for no reason. One more towards passing now. Were you getting a bit bored of the um, harvest? Some of the mobs in there, like the devourers. Yeah, okay. What build are you running for the bossing? I'm not up to that just yet. Just want to check where I'm at. The one route that I found is the wrong one. That tower defense that we did, that was pretty badass. It just takes a little bit long and the screen gets very laggy after a while and eventually you can't figure out what the fuck's going on on your screen, but it's pretty damn badass. Yes, I am looking for a different path out of here. somewhere that's not behind. Okay, I'll survive. Tier 1 map, not interested. Okay, so it doesn't look like there's anything left in the center of the map, so it looks like we've got no other choice other than to go up here to the left. Damn it. Blood is a lot of fun, it really is. Like, I had a decent amount of fun. Necessary. There's nothing quite it's a so golden door as a locked door. Please be the aspirant trial. These fucking levels are long, and I hate it. Has to give the golden key. I don't want that. Please don't. Oh, I, I have to get it. Because the golden key is going to give me access to that room, and that's the room that I need to go in. Almost guarantee it. This sucks. Another locked door. I'm not up to that just yet. Yep. No 
know, just as soon as I saw that the door was locked and then it took me to the golden key section, I was like, yeah, I'm not gonna have another choice other than to go there. But it's okay. That was close. Shit's been cleared out. Now I need to find all these. In. First one. Okay, so that opened up that. I'll go through that way. Completely, completely, completely unnecessary. I get another level. And that's the level that we need to start. Complex machinations converge to a single act of power. Three. Four. One. Two. Three. Give up such resilience. That takes like two seconds. The grandest designs can be dismantled. Okay, let's go up. That. Please tell me this is the right way to go. Yes, it is. Okay. Now there's one of two ways to go, yeah? And Murphy's Law, I'm probably going to end up going the wrong way. Silver cash. Don't want a silver cash. Okay, that's the right way. You see, I don't mind them making you run like in complete as absolute fucking circles, but I hate it when they make you go through those fucking puzzles in order to get to where you want to be. That pisses me off. But hopefully this is it, and then I'm done. Is the most devious trap of them all.
you know the drill, same as last time. One to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've already got one key though. Feeling five. Got you. One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> you absolute legend. You absolute legend. <laughs> We got two more keys. What you feeling? Oh, fuck. We got three keys. Never mind, brother. We got three keys. What you feeling? Three keys and a unique. <laughs> you missed the best part. So, pick again. Now you got three numbers to choose from. Two, seven, nine. Okay. One, two. Not bad, not bad. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Good. And nine, eight, nine. Got some gloves. Southbound. Yeah, a little bit, but it's fine. The first one made full, made up for it 100%. It was worth it. Okay, as always, grab a blue. Do I have any blues left or do I sell them all? Ooh, I've got a righteous fire, but it's a level one righteous fire, so it's fine. again brand of recall flame dash of return power siphon of the archmage mm. yeah that, that actually sounds kind of cool Activation for 1.5 seconds creates a magical band which can attach to a nearby enemy and periodically activates while attached, causing a fiery meteor to fall from the sky. Potential, potential. Man, flame dash, teleport location, damaging enemies and leaving a trail burning and then repeat the teleport to other direction. Armageddon brand. Fuck it. Try in the future. Okay, let's put this shit away. Put this with the rest of... Where did I put those important ones? There they are. Put it up there. Let's see what that was all about. Put that away. And put the unique away. Why not? 
There we go. First time achievement complete, Emperor. And now we come down to focal point. That's potentially going to be quite a nice little buff. It's so close. So close. I think one more map and we should have the XP needed to get that last level. Wait, hold on. Let's sell this shit. Get some currency. Need something? Like I said, those two life flasks were literally just for that run. I'm definitely looking forward to running this. The moment the build strong enough to run a tier 14 map. But not only is it a tier 14 map. The monsters have 159% increased damage. Could be fun. Uh, every has patches of deserted ground. Number of rare monsters. Players are cursed with temporal chain. Players have less recovery rate. Yeah, that's fine. I can fuck with that. Nine, I'll take it. I'll take the armor scraps, why not? There's the table that I needed. After this run, we can do that too. It's an only unique. So far, they've all been amulets. Oh, sorry, one ring and two amulets. to the right. Actually, it's a quick recall. So we have got that the stone of Lajba, whatever that is, the anvil, and black heart. Those are three uniques I just picked up. That's it from this map. Yeah, good. Oh, don't want that over there. Mix, duh, duh, duh. Keep that. Okay. We're finally at that point, but what do we do with the gems?
Those are all the things she gave me. That lethal part is like 15C. Damn. I didn't find this. You gave this to me. We were having a discussion about potentially trying out Lethal Pride instead of something else. Oh, you were just letting me know how much it costs. <laughs> Now the question is, what is it that you wanted to do over here? The bull guide had it instead of the cluster and the third of hope. Okay. So are we replacing the searching eye jewel now with the uh, load solace? Got you. Increased mana regeneration rates, elemental resistances, beta and streamlined is like thirty percent damage increase each. Ooh. Use projectile damage and speed. Car speed. Yeah, I want speed first. I'm going to do those two levels first and then continue with the tree as we go. It's going to be nice. So currently, I know the metrics aren't correct, but it's going to be a nice visual for me. So currently, we're sitting on 38,257 damage on that. If I apply, I jump to 43,000. Now, I know that's not an accurate representation of how much damage output I actually have, but just seeing that visual jump was nice. Okay. So now we work our way around to the top for the medium jewel slocket. What are we putting in there? I like the sound of that. I really like the sound of that. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. I need to try and get five levels as quickly as possible, and then I still need to carry on down here and get the rest of these over here. There's still quite a bit to go. Still quite a bit to go. You want another one of the same medium cluster? Okay. So, I'm going to take this. I've got a whole bunch of clusters. These are the medium ones that I've got. Have a look at what those are. What cluster was that? Load Solace. Would I want another Loathe Solace, or would something else work as well? Streamlined and Repeater, you'll want it. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. Okay, so we're definitely going to need another um, Solace. Projectile damage cluster. Has to be. Got you. Resistances. Yeah, none of that I've got. Okay, let's see how this runs. Find the next map, take a tier nine. Is 
there another syndicate in there? Actually, we can't. Ah, that's why. Oh, it's you again. An intellect of nice. That's already a massive increase in damage. The true reflection 100,000 on this at the moment. is looking real nice. That was a nice quick little boss fight. What is that? Yeah, Maestro. She's looking good. She's looking real good. Now, let's take this. And it has been updated. Okay, let's grab the next map. that and then we'll activate oh shit okay so I can't work can a nine work got more nines on me just want to test it okay I'm guessing that that has to be sorry I keep forgetting that has to be a nine there we go Oh shit. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. Did I accidentally fuck up and put reflect damage on? 
So players have less armor, reduce chance to block, increase rarity, pack size. No, there's no reflect. How the fuck did I take one hit and just get absolutely shwacked? There has to be reflect damage on this. The mantle reflect. I just missed that completely. Okay, well, we're not doing that shit again. <laughs> so I'm technically one tapping myself. <laughs> Monsters cannot be stunned. Uh, let's try this out instead. One tapping myself. Nice. Vulnerability. Monsters cannot be stunned. Physical damage. Critical foul in area. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. We're good. We shouldn't get one tapped. They've come to you to die. You are at mercy. Damn. It's a singular delivery orb. No, the diamond ring can fuck off. Faux ornament. Damn it. Fragmented delirium orb and a singular delirium orb. Okay, now we just backtrack and double check all the loot that was dropped. I was just running through. Didn't that. Just didn't that. I just didn't that, that, all that. It was so weird. That won't go there. Let's put that away. Put that away. And then you mark circum join the group. And then some currency. Hail. So I'm missing something. I was supposed to be looking for some kind of altar, right? Yeah. Quick feedback. The chat. Does it not seem like it's going too far into the screen?
but okay we'll fix that quickly um okay, it's got overlay Let's do that. Save. Okay, let's go. Chat. It also just cuts off. Wait, is it actually cutting off for you? Now it's not showing up at all. Okay, because I updated it, the chat obviously on the screen has reset, but let's see. Hopefully if something gets... It said now it doesn't cut off randomly. If not, that's something I just gotta fix. Okay, so the only reason why I'm back inside here is just to see if there isn't a portal that I missed. that ship again. chat should be fixed now hopefully it's not getting cut off anyway if it does that's something i'm gonna have to fix after the fact the next map because I can't find the portal right now so I don't want to waste too much time fucking around with a chat overlay taking away from what you're actually here for Let's see how good this build is or not I realize now I'm not half enough your guinea pig <laughs> test on me to see if shit works or not <laughs> I'm just messing with you no, but seriously though, I'm having a lot of fun with this build. 
Tornado shot was a good shot. And I think we already said the next build is going to be Righteous Fire. And then after that, we're going to go to the random ass build to see if we can make it work. Actually, while that's being done, let's actually see how I fare in a bit of a harder map. At least these 16s that you gave me. Let's see if it's any better. Unique boss, players gain, players have 60 less. RF is hella boring though, you just run. Like, do you like run slow and shit, or can your movement speed like movement speed be actually like decently quick? Do you use shield charge? Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, let's see how this handles in. This is a T-16 red. as we normally ignore, I just want to purposely test to see how well they do now. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's doing good. Just add a little bit of damage from that cluster. That is done massively for improving the damage on this build. That's for damn sure. levels actually think about running the harder uh, maps for better XP and not waste so much by constantly dying. That's good. This is looking much juicier. Much, much juicier. So I had a look at some of my analytics. The last person that followed me was eight days ago. First of all, I cannot believe I've been streaming for like eight days already. Well, it's actually been longer. It's been like 12 days. I cannot believe I've been streaming for half a month already. 
pretty decent, but yeah, last person that followed was eight days ago, so about time. We need to try and find a way to branch this out. We need to try and find a way to spread this to more people. Oh, let's do that. Let's put that away. And da, da, da. In a gambling room. Get rid of that. Time flies. It really fucking does. Like it really does. Like it feels like just yesterday I was sitting here trying to figure out my overlays, trying to shape everything. But I mean, tonight we're still busy moving stuff around. for now i'm gonna put away all of these that you gave me and i'm gonna see how many of those red maps i can run no maximize that xp and i'm also going to need to unveil all of those these let's look good on that I'll throw the next one on. Yo. Chain. Okay, I can remember that. much good so you can fuck right off first real boss that's on the either side of things I know this is probably a bad idea, especially for a T16 map, but I gotta test it. I gotta see if it's something worth it. I'm trying to maximize all the XP that I can here. Two people. Wasn't that bad? Green though. That loot. Got that label though. Uh, T12 map, the masking. What's that?
get okay uh, how the fuck do I link something to you in this game that actually go to you or hold on hold on hold on that worked while you look at that I'm gonna fuck around in the harvest Five C. Hey, five C is better than nothing. Yesterday for divine and a half. Holy shit! That's all about coming across the right memory. Look at some more levels to get you. Those exploding eggs. I can hate them. Nothing here worth keeping, so let's do this. And let's grab streamlined. Cool. It's taking my damage even further. Get out of here. See. What do I actually do with this? Is it something just to hold on to or just put it in a box and leave it over there?
Other country players have less armor, players have reduced chance to block. Let's go to the Just gain endurance. Areas contain two unique bosses. Monsters do a frenzy. I'll do that one. Mm, I really do not want to dwell Maria. Yeah. No trace. I'm not up to that just yet. This is feeling good, brother. That's quite a few uniques. up to that just yet. If you're chatting barracks pass grip and respite you get a ring called the taming which is quite good. Barracks pass grip and respite. I'm going to go maybe have a look and see what I've got because I mean I'm holding all the um, uniques so for all I know I might actually have it or some of it. Spite is a rare of the three. Fair enough. Everything was good. Have a look and have a look. Yeah, just go this way, but dude, the build is dealing well. That second upgrade onto that jewel did wonders for damage.
I think I'm able to say I can comfortably run a 16 and 15 now. Depending on the map, of course, and the layout. This way, exile. Kill it, exile. Quickly. Ooh. Those eggs. Damn. Yeah, open T16. I think a close T16 would still fuck my shit up. Wasn't too bad. Got my shit kicked in, but wait, am I still missing a creature? Yeah, I am. God, let's do one of these. I really want you to see my lead character in action. I one shot these. Well, after this, invite me. I'll sit back and I'll watch you. Oh, fuck, that's true. Well, my man, then you're gonna have to... You're gonna have to either take, make a video for it, or... You're gonna have to start live streaming so I can see that shit. You definitely have the knowledge to be able to become a dedicated POE streamer. No jokes. <laughs> when the kids are out. No jokes. It's just... You're just going to have to sit and do it. Like, I can't give you any kind of tips. I can't tell you how to be a successful streamer. Clearly, I am not. I have got three viewers in here. Welcome to the third person. You, but just to get over that initial fear of starting, you're just going to have to sit down, grab a mic, start the game, start recording, and just stream. See what happens. It's either going to be a success. You're either going to feel comfortable... Oh, okay. Well, what made you stop? What is that bucket supposed to mean? Side joke on my channel. <laughs> okay, fair enough. 
I'm not part of the inside joke, man. <laughs> Let's just put away the currency that I just made. Let's keep that and then just add this to the unique pile. That was not a unique. More unique items found in the area. I'll run that next time. Uh, can I fix exposure? Physical damage reduction. I'll run those two. Why not? Get rid of some currency. Well but that was a six link, wasn't it? Why did it give me? Oh no, it wasn't a six link. Let's just dump this over here. Currency away, and then we run the next map. This is a T16 map. Not sure what I've got now. It's a six. Definitely don't want a six. Thirty. Oh shit! I was not paying attention. One of those orbs kills me again, I'm not going to be happy. Brother, get up and next time you start streaming, I have you followed, so get notified. So, it'd be nice to see your build in action. I see we've actually got a third viewer in here. Welcome, make yourself at home, feel free to chat. Map done. We had a third view in, yeah. Tier 9 map. It's a tier 9, these are tier 16s. I don't know, maybe the content is boring, maybe my voice is irritating, or maybe it's just because I don't have a face cam. Fuck not. Could be one of about 50 billion reasons. Yeah, one of the sad things is, one of my achievements that I need to meet... It's not to love. <laughs> I appreciate it, Pastor. Really do, my man. So one of the funny things, I was actually having a look at it, one of the achievements that I need to get in order to become a, I think it was affiliate of Twitch, 
was yet and let me just double check i had to stream for a certain amount of days in a row and then i had to also um let me just get it for you uh achievements yeah so there's three main parts so, so it begins path to um, partner and then path to affiliate so path to partner i've already met every single requirement except for one so it wants you to stream for 25 hours and stream on 12 different days now i've streamed for 44 hours and i've streamed on 13 different days the only difference is it wants an average of 75 viewers my average is 1.58 so I need the views before I can become a partner. Affiliate is a little bit harder because they obviously I need to reach 50 followers. I need to stream for eight hours, which I've done, obviously stream for seven different days. I've done and then average three viewers per stream. So and then build a community is a part is over and above that. So I'm well on the way towards reaching those goals. It's just trying to get those views in now is the big thing for me. Fifty followers, average three viewers, and stream for like eight days. Yeah, something along those lines. Yeah, you got it. And you'll get there. No, definitely. Like I'm in no rush. I'm not coming into this with a mindset of I want to become rich from this or this is what I want to do to make money. I've got a nine to five job. I studied my ass off to get this nine to five job. It is more so I love playing games. I want to be in a situation where I can be vocal. But I think you're getting a bit of reverb there. Turn the sound off of that. Yeah. I got to fill it within a week of streaming. How? How the fuck did you do that? Oh, okay, yeah. Getting rated is a massive thing because obviously it brings viewers to your channel and if they like you, they stick around. I haven't been that lucky yet. But once again, not approaching this with a mindset of turning this into a 9 to 5. I'm, I'm approaching this with... I'm here to have fun. The people that like it can stay, can chat, can interact. And if it leads somewhere, that's the cherry on top. But that's not the main goal. Which is our hexproof. Look this. Do have any nice scarabs to run while I'm doing this? Scarab. Maps found. Contains an additional abyss. But one 100 pound. That's nice though. I, th I mean, I think your first donation, no matter how big or small it is, is always going to like stick in your mind as the very first donation that you ever received. As the first time you actually ever realized that, hey, something's happening here. It's like, I just got notified that on... Um, uh, stream labs stream element sorry stream element where i um do a lot of my overlays and my overlays are activated and run through i got my first notification of um uh sponsorship so there's three games i need to promote the game play the game specifically use their overlay etc etc and i get paid out based on how many people click on the link how many people download the game etc etc and one of the games it's Star Trek Mission Command or some shit like that, a game I've never heard of. They could pay up to 680 euros. I mean, that's decent. But, yeah. That's if you want to go the route of focusing on that. I mean, I want to play the games that I enjoy. Eventually, I want to get to the point where I can play the games that um, my viewers recommend or suggest. Like, right now, I am only focusing on PoE because you are my number one most consistent viewer i need to do everything i can to make sure i hold on to you which means poe and it doesn't bug me because i love the game i mean i was planning on a couple of nights ago doing a power wheel stream or potentially doing something stupid like farming simulator or um soul Stone survivors or something like that but no i've got to do the thing that makes the viewers happy which in this situation is you which is path of exile and I've got the added benefit of it. I can milk you for all your knowledge because you are my go to research. <laughs> How long were you streaming though? Like, what kind of like average time were you looking at? Oh, 
not long. Okay. Countless generations have walked these time-worn stones. At the kitchen race, it was when they were peaceful mostly. I mean, fair enough. After they went to bed. You see, for me, I only start streaming at about 9 o'clock, half past 9 at night, because that's normally when my wife goes to bed. So, I've got a 9 to 5 job, 5 o'clock comes, my job's over, then it's gym, make dinner, chill and relax with the wife, spend some quality time, do any kind of other housely chores that are required. And about 9, half past 9, she normally climbs into bed. So, from that point, I then jump on and I start streaming. I can run the stream normally for about 3, maybe 4 hours, till about 12, half past 12. Pushing on to about quarter to one, but I mean at that point I need to crash. I've got work then like later the same day Maps now. You see, that's also the thing is trying to maximize viewership because, like, when is the best time to come stream? Especially with me being in the Netherlands, like, is it going to be early mornings? Is it going to be in the evenings? Regardless of what the best times are, I'm only going to be able to stream in the mornings, oh, yeah, in the evenings. And that's just simply too, I've got other responsibilities. So I'm hoping that based on my time zone, compared to America, that'll be roughly late-ish afternoon. So hopefully that means that there will be a bigger viewership to be able to access. But also that's all guesswork. That's based on zero science. Fuck me. So I get a lot of days off. Damn it, died. I was reading the sound screen. Uh, I did 9.30 streams and ended when I had to pick up the kids from daycare at 12. I work 24 hour shift, so I get a lot of days off. Granted, that's nice. Yeah, I was trying to out heal the bleed, but just wasn't paying attention. You see, that's nice. With your 24 hour shifts, it means you've got almost dedicated days so you can build a schedule around those days off. But obviously, keeping in mind, you've also just got kids, you've got a wife. It's difficult to, to dedicate the kind of time that a person needs to properly grow. But I mean, I'm going to do the best that I can. I've got a goal of what I want to achieve. And hopefully, with the support of people in the community like you, I can grow. And that's why I also post all my videos on YouTube after the fact, so that the people that can't make it to the stream can at least watch what the stream was. Catch up on content. Ah, uh, stuck. Keep making that mistake as well. I keep running into the clusters of enemies. This is a bit of the harder T16 maps, that's for sure. That was close. pretty nice. I don't know what the hell is that I just picked up, but that seemed pretty cool. There's another unique that dropped. I can check that, gotta deal with these two. Yeah, that's that the that the influence item. Yeah. I'll just get out the pipe what burnt to death while I'm reading this. What the fuck is this? Uh it's due to physical damage. Comes to life when it increased movement speed and turns into accuracy. First time ever seeing one of those items in my life. 
Mm. Ah, here's the bosses. I forgot about them. Nope. Not gonna bother with them. Not on this map. They can all shape a specific mod. Is, is it something I specifically want to hold on to? Is it something you just want to dump? Because I can't imagine something like this rolling for any kind of decent currency. This accuracy, this area of effect. I can run that. What is that? That's a 16. I dump it. Yeah. So let's get some currency for it. That's about it. Welcome. I mean, come on. It's worth 12 swords. That, that's trash. Uh, let's see if there's another scarab to run. What scarabs? Oh, but hey, there's a blight encounter. Now that I'm actually doing quite a bit of, bit of decent ish damage, what's sitting just over 500k, a blight encounter might be something pretty decent. Best thing though to roll it on a T16 map, or should I roll the roll down to like a T10 and then do it? I'm thinking a T T16 on this is going to get me killed. So let's maybe grab a... Caucasus... Crater. Grab a crater map and run those two together. Unique, unique, glitch effect, plays recovery and failure. That's not bad. Throwing a syndicate there as well. Blood, you want those narrow corridor maps. Uh, crater map. We don't want that then. Something else then for it. Caucus. I've got a nine. It's the iceberg park. Typical. Might work, but that's a nine. Ghetto. Coliseum is too big. Iceberg Park. Hmm. I think the best option is then going to be to run Sepulchre. Let's grab one of these. Pictures of Snot's Ground. Players are cursed. All monsters damage hits will ignite, and players have 30% less cooldown recovery rate. Let's run the sepulchre, see if that works. Sepulchre. What's the worst that's going to happen? It's either going to succeed or it's going to fail, so... Yeah, this seems decent. is correct. No idea if this is going to work. Going to the mana forms. Yeah. 
Not too horrible. Not too shit. Is it a no leech map? Um, I think I was just spamming my arrows a bit too much. Message. Oh, that's the speech. Mission from Alma received. Nice. Uh, um, I didn't pay attention to who that. Yeah, it was Deirdre's Madness. Caucus map. That's a 10. I'll grab that. Superior Orbo Storms. Hey, that might be nice to run. Shaking essence of torment. Yeah, I'll take that. Frozen, don't die. Map tier one, map tier eight. Not interested. Is any one, two, three, four? No, the currency and all the disciplines not interested in the maps. And tier six map. Yeah, I'll just grab those two. Add to my deck, see if it's anything more. I came in from that side. Or I came in from this side. Yeah, I came in from there, so it means the boss fight is to the top. Or was that DOJ? I think I'm done with this map. Yeah, I'm done. And we now just add this. Wait, what? I thought I had a place for this. Don't tell me. Did I not have a place to be able to put these oils? No, I was dumping them all down, yeah. Damn it. You need a blood tap for the oils. Do I even want to know what a blood tap costs? Dash tabs, blood tap. 40, ah, 40 ain't bad. I might get that for the next stream. For well, now, that's just going to go into. Yeah. It's a T10. It's also a T10. Let's put those away. That's a T8. Got that. Oh, hold on. And this can also go. Oh, wait. Got a place for that. Currency. Welcome. Let's start with that. Get Survive. some orbs. And then. Just gonna continue with the damage increase. Just go around to the top. Get that. Wait, did I click on that? Oh, fuck sex. Let's 
try that. What are you feeling? Are you feeling an Ino? Are you feeling an incursion? Are you feeling a Voltex? Or are you feeling a Syndicate? Or should we do a Kirag mission? What are you feeling? <laughs> yeah, you'll always go Syndicate if you can. I'm looking more recipes. No, fair, fair. So let's run one of those. Let's turn that on as well. And let's run that. I think there's a possibility that I got a Lapis Amulet. It's a small possibility, but I think I got a Lapis Amulet. <laughs> Sweetness, Boric, execute. Bye bye. Okay, decent. Hate execute. That's and I'm out of bargain. So be it. I will fulfill my duties there. I think decent. That maximum fortification while focused is the only one I don't have. And then. Increase maximum life and increase mana. We'll take mana. You know what? Funny enough, I know I'm not the biggest fan of him either. I don't like the Einar contracts at all. I think it's boring as shit. And sometimes the creatures can just be unnecessarily difficult. Like, for no reason, they're just like absolute sponges. Not only on this board, but the future boards as well.
photographer's chisel, scrolls, splinter. If there's one thing I Ray. But I thought it was the best thing to do, but that's done. I think there was another person over here. Okay, I need your two cents, my man. What's this? Hodge's minions gain or this is for the additional fight. We did part one. This is now the second part of it. You don't want those penalties. So rather ignore this and then re-roll it on a different map. Somewhere where the penalties ain't gonna be so difficult. Is. Okay. Let's grab the bottom one and then take it from there. There's some more monster is for Valorbs. There we go. I mean, it's not like it's going to affect this map much. I mean, this map is basically done. Hmm. Let's see, June's down here, so I need to go check up on her. Syndicate. Okay. So, prediction. Am I gonna die? Am I not gonna die? good I had three viewers I had three viewers for like a solid like five minutes it felt good Smart one, exile. I'll take those, speak to June, and Bell. High damage, lighting damage, cold damage, lighting damage, life per second. I'm gonna do fire and lightning. Dump it, don't want it further. Increase damage, only one I don't have. But nobody else left. Okay. And that's this map done. Let's go up to the helmet. What's the rest of them looking? I mean, I just started that one. I'm more than halfway. 800, 4,000, 800. Yes, I still have quite a bit of a way to go. But on that, let's put that one on that. Let's put this shit away. Actually, got some divination cards that I can handy and chaos orbs. 
scrolls, cartographer chisels, essences, and an item. Just a random item. No specifics, just item. Just like putting these for now. Well, I'm stamping them in here as well. Just keep that in there over there. Hero. Okay, next T16. Players are cursed. Increase critical. Monsters cannot be stunned, and monsters have reduced extra damage for critical strikes. Okay, I'll take that. Aldrich Chaos Orb. What's that? Is it part than air? Okay. I'll run it next. Never seen that all before in my life, that's what I'm asking. Not gonna bother with the bosses, they take too long. It's an orb that's quite rare. Ooh. I actually got something rare for once. Seeing I've got dominant dual prefix modifiers. Oh, okay. And then I got a uh, the breath. Don't know what that is. And then uh, Nando's pride, but it's got white sockets. Take that. It's more life. Press the head over going shrine map to map tier three. Lesser Algerts Algerms. Any one of these do good, based on your opinion? Yep, got you. Chaos damage, so I'll take the free Algis currently. Uh, let's put this in this away. It's sold. Make sure this gets put away nicely. And then 
scarabs. Okay, so. Okay, so. What is this boss that you want me to run? Wise, I'm good. I'm plus now, right? Need something? Well, the knock is not going to exist. Not. So, as you mentioned here, you should really be running um, Eater. Which one's Eater? Hmm. Eater Worlds in the map. Oh, this one. Okay, got you. Uh, temple map. Right, fuck it, we've got it. I know it's not exactly the ray, but let's get it out there and get it done. It shouldn't be a difficult run, but nonetheless. Okay, something already dropped. That way. Great to map this a ten. A ten is fine, I can still keep a ten. Use the blue on the map device. I did not put that portal in the best place. Uh, I'm out. Infinite hunger time. So we'll do that. Hold on. Open portals to ceiling. Okay, what is infinite hunger? Mind a boss fight. Sorted. Need to know that he will go underground and one shot you, so you'll have to dodge him. Got you.
I'm about to die. Yep. See. That's what happens when you run only one life flask. Why not have another life flask somewhere? Just for this, because I just got sh whacked. Yeah, I tried to avoid it, but the moment I ran through it, I started getting like, mm, yeah, I got shwacked. Oh, fair enough. No excuses. You just learn. Get about the green puff on the ground. Okay. Easier than I thought if I just paid attention. Rejoice. Portals are disabled. How the fuck do I get out of here? Oh. Yeah, I just didn't have trust in the bolt, didn't have trust in the abilities of what this thing's capable of. So I keep wanting to get a lot closer than what I needed to, but yeah. That's oh, sweet, we just keep running those. And let's do a 12. Yeah, the first time I didn't know what you meant by he goes underground, but then I actually saw he literally goes underground. Luckily you can see the tentacles above the ground, and then you just got to make sure that those tentacles don't interact with you. Oh wait, do I not pay attention? Mm, reflect 18% of it. Nope. Reflect again. Yep, reflect again. Leech from monsters, monsters. Cannot leech from monsters. Ooh, that sucks. Not gonna do that. Tier 15. Let's do a tier 15. Monsters get in. I'm being stupid. I just need to just to re roll it. This can't regenerate a lot of mice. I don't need to steal. That's fine. So we do that. Increase unique, increase damage. Let's cool down. It's amazing. It's amazing. It's only 18% reflect. But if I'm doing more than half a million, close to a million damage, I've only got 2,500 health. So I can imagine that I won't tap myself if I'm only reflecting 18%. Shit, I've got two here. Forty-one percent reduced defenses per frenzy charge. Gain fifty-six percent maximum of X extra max energy shield. Take that. That one pricked you earlier today. Gabs are opportunity with twenty-nine percent chance to be duplicated. Cold resistance, lightning resistance. Nah, that's not worth it. I'm not taking away nearly fifty percent of my resistances just for a thirty percent chance for the scabs to be damaged. Uh, hundred percent chance to create shot ground on death, lasting three seconds. Drop additional divination card, which rewards basics. I'm just gonna take it. Doesn't sound too bad. Just me, or was there a whole bunch of nothing?
grab this. I need health. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. God damn. Take the divination cards just so I can maybe finish off some of the other lists. And just do like a nice divination card handy. Temple map. Nice, another tier 14 temple map. I think I'm actually gonna run one of those after this, see how it goes. Is it less than one? Okay, let's go back to these bosses and see if they still got fight left in there. There's an underground sea map. I actually got some nice maps from this. Increase monster damage, area becomes fatal after some time. I don't like that. That sounds horrible. It sounds like anti death. like nine minutes that's insane like you get nine minutes to beat the map or nine minutes to do as much as you can and then you die regardless okay oh What's the worst that's going to happen? <laughs> Famous last words. That there. That there. That away. Okay. Oh. Out. That comes out. I keep putting currency in here for some reason. Let's see what happens. Wait, I can? Hold on my tabs already. The fuck do I do that? Oh. Well, fuck me. I never thought about doing that. Can I change my maps tab so it's not just afflictions, so it's all maps? Or oh, okay, never mind. Uh, but I want to run this map. Let's see what nine minutes gets me. Oh, 
don't get stuck, don't get stuck, don't get stuck. Some small for the strong boxes. you to explore every single nook and cranny of the map. Everything, give me the fucking out. No, where's the exit? Why is it not allowing me to exit? I have explored everything, everything is dead. Oh, okay now. finished with I'm leaving that totem just to kill anything that might be there. Went well, that actually went really well. 
Ah, no, corre, dale skill point. That actually went a lot better than I thought. Okay, where was I? Um, harvest, 50% chance to spawn, duplicate monsters. Increase quantity of life force. Okay, now the only reason I picked up these gems is so that I could potentially in the future do something with them. What? Fuck knows. But something. another nice increase so currently we're sitting on 47,000 base without any buffs added uh, 47,200 this has got a 20% increased attack damage increased attack speed global accuracy rating and 20% increased damage with ailments from skills so see this is going to give me a nice little buff 47,000 apply 50,000 50,000 damage which translates to x uh, let me actually check. Yeah. Inventory stash. Passive. Okay, so that's what my it looks like. Okay. Where can I see on my Path of Excel page actually how much damage I would have got? Should be nice to see. There are skills that draw transactions, passive tree, and atlas tree. Definitely not my board at the moment. My sockets really that empty. I've got space for a whole bunch of sockets. Quick question Would running something like Herald of Thunder, because I do have the sockets for it, would running something like Herald of Thunder be additive towards my damage, or would the tax on the uh, mana reservations be just too much? Because I'm thinking, I've got the space for it, and anything that outputs more damage is a, a win, right? I mean, I've got four red sockets. Well, regardless, any one of the, the heralds. Just something that might potentially boost the damage more than it currently is, because, I mean, I've got four red sockets and one green socket available for it. Probably almost for your totem setup, really. Now, fair. I mean, so we've got the main. We've got the cold damage, the fog, the tax, the 
But we've got the main things, but I mean, the only thing I've got is the Dread Banner. I can't see how... Okay, so Herald of Thunder I can't run because I don't have a socket for it. I can't see how having something like the Herald of Ice wouldn't be a benefit. Or potentially even Herald of Ash, but once again, this could be me completely misunderstanding the, the mechanics at work here. I'm just curious. This is part of that trying to figure it out, trying to see what can and can't work. Bring that there. There. Activate that. Fifty one thousand. Three thousand. 1,000 increase. But that's on a rank 1 gem. I'm gonna do one run like this and see how it goes. Grab a Ethos monster. Alright, those cannot drop. That's can't regenerate. Increase monster cost frenzy increase critical take my ten times. Okay. Just because why not? Maximum cold resist and hold on. Increase first time it's final boss drops. Was it chance to suppress spell hundred percent chance to suppress spell damage? Audit map boss gains spell no audit minions cold resistance lightning resistance. Eh. I 
can't do spells, it'll be fine for them. Yeah. And a chance for enemies to drop shock grounds when getting yeah, into physical damage is extra cold damage, L damage. Player gains 30% chance. Increased quantity of items found. Huh. I like that one. I said myself on ID, that was my own fault. Another one. Hey, gains. Reduction. No potential can suck around on death last in three seconds. Okay, so I just gotta be careful that when something dies, it mustn't be where it was standing. thousand damage. Yeah, it's dropping. Sticking at a consistent seventy six thousand. And back down to fifty one thousand. Two stone ring, I'll take the leather belt. That, I'll take that. I'm gonna kill myself. Loyalty, I'll take another loyalty. It's the wood on the top left. What is that wheel for? No, that it's an active. Okay. stays full unless I have to worry about immortal flesh belt any good so base five six seven one five six seven okay so that doesn't affect that at all or if keep that then I got some scarabs. Winged Elder Scarab. And bad boy. Adds Elder Influence outcome to map area and 150% more rare Elder items found in map. That's nice. Gilded a reliquary scarab. 150 more unique items found in area. I can drop the single wing scarab or leak. How much is this thing worth?
150 C. Sorry, 140 C. Damn. At the very least. Up to div. Well, damn. My good sir. Would you like it? Why not? Getting apart standard versus league. That is very, 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 very fucking true. Do I do physical damage? Or do I do projectile damage? Both. Okay. Because I was wondering why I was not seeing a damage increase on my tornado shot. Um, when I had the Herald of Ash active. It's not calculated and it's also got you. So there is an added benefit of me running it. Or would I benefit more from something like um old device? Uh crit chance. At uh 35%. Which is a, a big bonus. I have the mana reservation for that. It doesn't reserve. Oh, it's a cost, that's true. Hmm. Good tidings to you. Uh, is it? Crash, ice vortex, auto strike. Good. Security, strike, strap, that's right. Summon ice column, there we go. Column grants 20% accuracy, 20% more critical strike zones. Okay, let's test this. So right now, I'm at 35%. Come here, good sir. Critical strike drones, 36%. Oh, is it not calculated in you? 
Oh, so it's 205 of your total crit chance, not 20. 20% total. Got you. Or anything that helps in a fight, so I mean, I'm gonna rock it. I'm not up to that just yet. Okay. And that was pretty decent. What we got my character to level 84. We did quite a couple of map runs. We got the jewel socketed. We've got streamlined and repeater unlocked, as well as martial prowess. Now we just got to get those last remaining skills so I can start moving up here towards. I think it's up here. Yeah, towards far sight. And towards the freedom of movement. So I think that is as good a place as any to call it a night. What do you think? Okay, so we'll do the usuals. Thank you everybody for joining in for tonight's stream. Maestro, as always, you're an absolute legend. Thank you for the advice. Always good looking out. And I really hope you go live again so that I can come and watch you a bit and show you some love and support. I'm not going to be able to give you an advice like you've been giving me, but I can be there in spirit. To everybody else who's watching the stream after the fact, come join me on my next live stream. Follow, subscribe. Tune into the um, to Twitter to come and see my posts. Show some love, show some support. Spread the word. Stay with family and friends and let's help grow this community. It would mean a lot to me. The more support, the better content I can provide tailored for you as the viewer but until then i hope you have a lovely night and all day look after yourself and be safe